Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here and today we're going to show you the easy way to unlock the point .300 knockout. This is an ultimate guide and we will explain you everything. We will show you how you can get 4 camera coins per round and we will give you some tips how you can get over 30 sniper kills in one game. We broke down all the requirements and we made an easy to follow guide so that you can unlock the gun in no time. As you probably know there are some guides on the internet about the point .300 but most of them only tell you half the story. Basically they just sum up all the requirements that you need to fulfill to unlock this gun. They won't give you a detailed explanation and they will tell you that it's difficult. We weren't very happy after reading these guides so we decided to make a proper movie ourselves. One that gives you all the tips and tricks that you need to unlock this gun in no time. And no, it's definitely not difficult. You don't have to be some super sniper to add this gun to your inventory. Everyone should be able to do this because most of the time you will be doing something else than sniping to unlock the sniper rifle. Which is a bit strange but hey that's the way it is. Let's presume that you played Battlefield Hardline already but you didn't play the professional class. So you will have some extra cash to spare but no loadout yet for your professional. So let's get your loadout out of the way first. With your extra cash, buy the camera straight away. This will only cost you $6,000 and equip this together with your laser trip mine. Your pockets should be deep enough to buy the anti-armor for one of those cars as well, so that shouldn't be a problem. This will cost you $42,400. Buy this and equip it so that you have access to the RPGs. Make sure that you buy this for the sedan first because there are more of those in the game than the coupé. So this will increase your odds of getting this car on your own at the start of any round. This armored upgrade will save you a lot of time later on because at some point we will be playing Hotwire to earn a lot of cash in the shortest time possible. I will explain that in more detail later on. If you were already swimming in cash, then go ahead and buy the R700 LTR for the cops and the AWR for the criminals. The R700 will cost you 48,000 and the AWR 51,000. These guns will make it easier to earn cash faster because they will give you access to the magnum rounds. Which will make it a lot easier to take down vehicles later on, which means earning more cash. It's also possible to do this with the Scout Elite if you don't want to spend money on the AWR or the R700 right away, but it will take you longer. The choice is yours. However, you will have to buy 10 specific guns and gadgets at some point, so you might as well buy these guns now. If you have the money of course. Now let's get started with the good stuff. Your first task is to unlock the Professional Assignment 1. To accomplish this, you will need to unlock Professional Bronze Service Star 2, 10 Sniper Rifle Kills and 5 Laser Trip Mine Kills. The reward for this is the Professional Assignment 1 patch. You will need 10,000 points to unlock 1 Bronze Service Star, so you will unlock the Professional Bronze Service Star 2 very easily. This means playing as a professional, getting kills any way possible or playing the objective. This doesn't mean driving around in a car on Hotwire. These points don't count towards your professional class, keep that in mind. You might as well go for the service stars at the same time you're going for your 10 sniper rifle kills and laser trip mine kills. If you are a battlefield veteran and you are used to playing with sniper rifles, then I don't have to tell you how to get 10 kills. If for some reason you are new to sniping, then join the blood money server and try to find a good spot overlooking the money. This will make it very easy for you to get your first kills because your targets will be standing still when they are grabbing the cash. Place your trip mines on the route that most enemies take on their way to the money and you will get your 5 laser trip mine kills in one round. You will be able to accomplish this assignment in no time, let's call this the end of step 1. You will need to complete 5 steps until you get your point .300, so only 4 more to go. Step 2 are the pre-requirements for the professional assignment 2. For this you will need to complete professional assignment 1, which you just did, and you will have to unlock professional bronze service star 7. This means 7 of those stars. Since you will have a few of those already, it won't take that long to get to 7. You will need to get a total of 70,000 points. This seems like a lot, but it isn't. I will give you a full explanation how to get a lot of points for the professional later on in this movie. Once you have 7 bronze service stars, you can start with the actual requirements. So this is step 3. You will need 25 sniper rifle kills together with 5 camera coins. The kills are very easy and so are the camera coins. For some reason most people think these camera coins are a pain in the butt, well that's not true. I even got some of them when I was watching TV so how difficult can that be? They don't require any skill, actually you only have to place them and that's it, your team will do the rest. The only thing you need to know is where and when to place them. For the record, to get one camera coin, 10 enemies need to get killed by your teammates while these enemies were spotted by your cameras. 
You will get an intel assist when an enemy gets killed while he was spotted by one of your cameras. And you can place 3 cameras in total. This is the basic principle. However, there are some exceptions that prevent you from getting intel assists. If somebody else, for example a teammate, a hacker or yourself spot an enemy, then you won't get that intel assist. If you place two cameras facing the same area and there are two enemies, then only one enemy will be spotted, so you have to place your cameras in different locations. Vehicles are a bit tricky. The cameras won't spot vehicles, however, if there are people hanging out of the windows, then they will be spotted. So keep these rules in mind when you place your cameras to get the maximum effect. There is a tip on the internet that everybody read I guess because everybody seems to be doing it. Some guy wrote to go on a 64 player team deathmatch server and place your cameras there and now everybody seems to be doing this. However nobody is getting their camera coins because about 15 people are placing cameras there. Check your map once in a while and you will see that the map is filled with cameras so you don't stand a chance getting your coins there. There is one map that I found useful if you insist on playing team deathmatch because most people place their cameras in the wrong place. If you are playing a bank job, try to place your cameras on the two main roads leading away from the place where the cops normally spawn when you play heist on this map. This will guarantee you at least 3 camera coins during one round. You will probably be the only one placing his cameras in this location and you will have a long view along the road which means a lot of intel assists. I would recommend to take a position on the roof next to that spawn so that you can shoot people yourself while you have superior cover. You can even place your third camera facing the area behind the cop spawn. Be patient though, the map rotates, in other words the spawns rotate. At some point in the game your team will be spawning here so you won't get many kills yourself. But a minute later the enemy team will spawn here and you won't be able to shoot bullets fast enough to kill everything. Just make sure that you're not killing every enemy so that you don't take away your own intel assists. I joined the 800 ticket server and I managed to get 4 camera coins in one round. So it definitely doesn't take long to get a total of 5. If you don't mind playing blood money, then this is by far the best game mode to place your cameras. Not many people go for the camera coins on this mode, so most of the time it will only be you who is placing his cameras. There are only a handful of 64 player blood money servers, so try to find one and you will get your coins in no time. I had at least 3 coins every round on these servers. Don't bother placing a camera on the money, they will get blown up almost instantly by all the grenades. If your team is dominating the other team, then place your cameras on the routes that your enemies take towards the money. This is where most of them will get killed, which means more camera coins for you. Once you did this, you will be rewarded with the Professional Assignment 2 patch and the Mac 10. This is an amazing handgun, so give it a try and enjoy the fast rate of fire. You will be killing everything in no time. Now you can finally start working on your Professional Syndicate assignment. So step 4 are the pre requirements. And they are Professional Assignment 2, which you just did. Purchase 10 Professional specific guns and or gadgets, which you can do straight away. Just select your loadout and buy the cheapest stuff for the Professional class. Keep buying one until you see this requirement fulfilled. The last one is a Professional Gold Service Star 1. This is going to take some time, but we will help you get there faster. You first need to get 10 Bronze Service Stars, because this will give you access to the Silver Service Stars. You will need 10 of those as well, and then you will be able to go for your gold star. Let's do the math. 10 bronze service stars are 10,000 points, but you have 7 already so you only need 30,000 more. A silver star is 15,000 points, so 10 of those are 150,000 points. The gold one is 30,000 points, so in total you will have to get another 210,000 points from this point on. Don't get disappointed by this, you will learn this in only a few hours. Let's say that the average player played Battlefield 4 for more than 100 hours, then these few hours aren't going to make a big difference. Besides, you will be playing the rest of your 100 and more hours with the best sniper rifle in the game, which makes everything worth it. The fastest way to do this is to play Hotwire. However, we are not going to drive those marked cars. The points that you earn from driving those cars don't count towards your professional gold service star, so don't waste your time doing that. We're going to do the opposite, we will be taking down those smart cars, and we're going to take down a lot of them. Your primary means of taking down these cars is with your RPGs that you get out of the trunk of your cars that have the anti-armor upgrade. Your goal is to create a 2 car RPG hideout. In other words, you need to create an ambush location where you have access to 2 of your own cars so that they will spawn RPGs. This will get you an infinite supply of RPGs. You will have access to more of those than you can shoot. This way you will be able to kill every car that comes near you. 
If you use this technique then you will be earning between 8000 and 12000 points during every round and that is without boosting. This means one bronze star every round on a standard 500 ticket server. If you kill the right car with 3 or more people inside then you will earn over 1000 points for one RPG shot. Because you will get credit for a multi kill so you do the math how quickly you will earn your gold service star. To back you up place your laser trip mines on the roads as well because they will take down cars for you when you are busy doing something else. Don't forget that you can use your sniper rifle to take down vehicles. If you see a vehicle that sustains some damage then start shooting at it and you will bring it down in no time. This is why you need your magnum rounds for the AWM and for the R700 because these bullets do massive damage to vehicles. Another good tip is to shoot one shot at a car that is driving into an ambush laid down by your teammates. The game will give you credit with an assist which means more points for you and it only took you one bullet. And then finally you will be unlocking the professional gold server star. Now I was hoping to show you guys some epic kill to get that gold service star but no I messed up. So I sneaked up on one guy on the roof and then he turned into two guys. I thought fine I'm going to headshot one guy and then I'll kill the other. But the headshot didn't register. So I had to empty my clip on him and of course the other one turns around and kills me. These were the last points that I needed to get that service star and then I died. I'm sure that you all will get a better kill at the moment that you unlock this gold star. Anyway. As soon as I spawn I get the gold server star and I get the professional mastery assignment. Step 4 completed. Now finally the last stretch toward your point 300 knockout. Step 5. The last thing that you will have to do is to complete the actual requirements for the professional syndicate. You will need to get 200 sniper after kills. You will have to unlock the professional tier 4 reputation track 10 times in different matches. You need 15 camera coins and 15 marksman coins. I strongly recommend that you multitask for this one. Go for the camera coins first, because while you are doing that, you will also get sniper rifle kills and also some marksman coins. So this is the fastest way to get your point 300. The sniper rifle kills that you made before don't count. So you have to make another 200 kills from this point on. So don't be too focused on getting sniper rifle kills until you started working on your actual requirements for the professional syndicate. The biggest tip that I can give you is that the fastest way to get your 200 kills is with your scout elite on a hardcore team deathmatch server. I have been able to get over 30 kills every round so it doesn't take long to get 200. Try to find an elevated position, cover your back with your laser drip mines and kill everything in your sights. In hardcore your scout elite becomes a one shot kill sniper rifle. So forget about your other rifles from now on and just play with the scout elite. It fires bullet a lot faster than the R700 or the AWM so you don't need them for this assignment. It's actually pretty easy to unlock your tier 4 reputation track. I presume that most of you already reached tier 3 at some point. The easiest thing to do is when you have tier 3 is to ask your friend to become a hacker for 20 seconds and give the squad upgrade to your team. This will unlock tier 4 for you. You can always return him the favor later on if there is still time in the round. The cooldown period for the squad upgrade is 8 minutes so keep that in mind. If you're playing as a lone wolf then ask a teammate. Just explain them the situation and most of them will be willing to help you. After all it only takes them 20 seconds of their time. There is another easy way to do this and that's to join a hotwire server that has only 3 players in it. If you join as a 4th player then the round will start and you can get to tier 4 on your own by driving one of those smart cars. You already know how you can get your 15 camera coins, so use the technique that was mentioned in step 3, but unfortunately your previous 5 coins don't count. So you will have to get 15 new ones. The last thing that you have to do is to get 15 marksman coins. Now what is this? There is an official explanation on the internet, but it's very confusing. So I will give you my own explanation. There are two possible ways to get a marksman coin. The first one is to get a headshot with your sniper rifle from a distance of 250 meters or greater. You would think ok let's do this, uh, no forget about it. If you try this then you will have to play for ages to get a headshot like this or you have to be one of the top 10 snipers in the game. The other problem is that the maps aren't designed to make it easy to get a 250 meter headshot. So let's go for option number 2. You need to get a headshot or even better headshots with your sniper rifle adding up to a distance of 250 meters or greater. In other words, two headshots from a distance of 125 meters for example will add up to a single headshot of 250 meters which will earn you the marksman coin. Now this we can do. You probably earned a few already when you were going for your 200 kills. 
you could keep doing what you were doing and focus more on headshots now. Fine, you will get there at some point. Or we are going to artificially create a location where you can get multiple headshot coins in one round. You will need three requirements for this location. Cover for yourself of course, distance to your target and preferably a stationary target. I found this very easy to do on Hotwire. I will give you an example of a location like this on downtown. If you look at the top left of the map you will see that green skull. That is where we will be going. We are going to headshot everyone that gets into that alpha car. I found it works better when you're playing as a criminal because the cops get to that alpha car faster. We are going to lie down on this location of the map. We are going to climb up on this little ledge and lie down in the bushes here. This will provide you with cover because you are hidden. You will have a 133 meter distance to your target and everyone that gets into that car will be stationary for a second, giving you all the time that you need to get that headshot. I would recommend to fire one practice round when you start doing this so that you have an idea of the bullet drop and so that you know with what part of the scope to aim with. Do this and you will be getting your 15 marksman coins in no time. I did this with an 8x scope on the scout elite. You won't need a lot of patience because the alpha car is a popular car and people are always ready to jump in, which make it easy target practice for you. And finally, you will be the proud owner of the point .300 knockout. The rewards for completing this assignment are a gold battle pack, the professional syndicate patch and the point .300 of course. I'm not going to give you a review about the gun at this point, no. I want you to make up your own mind. I recommend rewatching this movie and to do everything step by step. Remember that you can use your boosts as well if you want to save even more time. Subscribe or like the movie if it helped you. This was Fog of Gaming. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield.